welcome to another episode of Subspecies 101. My name is Ryan Kelly, and today I'm going to be talking about yet another new subspecies introduced in Iceborne. However, this one's a little bit more mysterious than our last two subspecies being Acidic Glavinus. Before we get into this episode of Subspecies 101, I should just say that I made a video called The Art of Subspecies in Mod Runner, where I go into detail as to why a person likes subspecies and why I believe they should get more credit than they do currently. Now you don't have to watch that video to enjoy this series, just know that I'll be discussing ideas and principles from that video while I analyze each subspecies. And finally I'll be ranking each subspecies from 1, avoid the fight, to 10, pursue the fight. With that being said, let's talk about the Acidic Glavinus. Acidic Glavinus is, as I mentioned earlier, a 5th generation subspecies that originates from Iceborne, and is one of the last new subspecies you'll encounter in your initial playthrough. It can only be encountered in Master Rank in the Rotten Vale, and once you beat the game, the Guiding Lands. Interestingly enough, this is one of the only subspecies that I know of that instead of picking up a new element like Coral Pukey Pukey and Fulgur Anginith, Acidic Glavinus drops all of its elemental attacks that Glavinus had previously just to use raw attacks with a few defense down ones. Something that I think is pretty fascinating about Acidic and Glavinus is the fact that while Glavinus' tail is based off of a greatsword, Acidic's is based off of a katana, which makes sense when you look at the way that Glavinus uses its tail versus how Acidic uses it. I'll go into more details about this in a moment. Again, just like every single subspecies I've reviewed from Iceborne so far, Acidic is another subspecies that's pretty innovating and does quite a bit of new things that subspecies haven't really done before. Like I mentioned before, Acidic Glavinus is drastically different from the original in several ways. However, I haven't mentioned that Acidic's design is completely different from Glavinus's. I'd even go as far as to say that their color schemes intentionally clash with each other. While Glavinus is red, blue, and slightly purple, Acidic is green and blue. As you're probably aware, red and green are opposite colors from each other on the color wheel, meaning that when these colors are put next to each other, they make each other stand out. Now, this next and final point might be a little bit of a stretch, but these clashing color schemes could have been done to symbolize how different these two monsters are from each other. This is especially the case if you consider the fact that Glavinus' tail is supposed to be a greatsword while Acidic's is a katana. As you know, a katana and a greatsword are both types of swords, but they're used in completely different ways. Speaking of how these monsters use their tails, let's talk about the differences between Glavinus and Acidic Glavinus' fights. For the most part, Acidic Glavinus' moveset is pretty similar to Glavinus', except for a few new attacks and variations of attacks with its tail. Instead of using Acidic's tail for one or two strong attacks, Acidic Glavinus can use its tail anywhere from one to four times and is much faster with its tail than Glavinus is. Also, the most important difference between the two is the fact that Acidic can't use the fire element anymore. In fact, it's actually weak to fire, which also seems to be a trend with Iceborne subspecies. It can't launch or bite you with fire anymore. However, it is able to inflict you with defense down with certain attacks. Now, in my opinion, I believe that Defense Down is much more of a threat than Fire is, especially with Glavinus' moveset. So for me personally, I believe that this makes Acidic more of a threat than Glavinus, even though it doesn't have as many Defense Down attacks as Glavinus has Fire ones. So even though these two monsters might not be extremely different from each other like Coral Pukey Pukey or Glacial Ignactor, Acidic still feels enough like a different monster where I have to fight Acidic differently than I do with Glavinus. So, what do I think about Acidic Glavinus? Well, I really like the concept of a subspecies losing all of its elemental attack for more raw ones. I also really like the fact that it uses defense down in such an interesting way because for me, Acidic's defense down ability makes sense in comparison to Devil Joe's defense down, which I always thought was kind of random. 
I also really like that you can quite literally see that a Civic's tail is acting like a katana with the way that it stands and poses its tail and of course the way it uses its tail. The variations it adds to some of Glavinus' old attacks like when it slams its tail down is a nice change of pace for the fight, especially since I fought Glavinus so many times and am used to the way that it attacks originally. In particular, I really like the new attack where it curves its sword and stabs towards you two or three times in a row. Not only do I think it looks cool, but it also seems to be the attack that almost always catches me off guard because of how different it is from Glavinus' moveset. I also really like the color scheme. I think it fits the overall theme very nicely. However, I still like Glavinus' color scheme more. So, with that in mind, I'd give Glavinus a... 8 out of 10. There are two reasons why I didn't give it a 10 out of 10. One, because there isn't enough of this fight for me to consider this to feel like a new monster, similar to how I feel about Fulgur. And two, because I personally don't enjoy the Acidic's fight a whole lot in comparison to some of the other subspecies from Iceborne. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the concept of removing an element from a monster that originally had one, but in Glavinus' case, it doesn't really affect how different the fight feels because most of Glavinus' fire-based attacks are attached to attacks that Acidic has, meaning that when Glavinus bites you, you can get Fire Blight, but when Acidic bites you, you just take raw damage. The only real exception to this attack is where Acidic whips his tail on the ground. Glavinus' tail whip has more range since it shoots fire out, but Acidic's version of this attack has little to no range since it has no elements attached to it. And lastly, I just don't enjoy this fight as much as I enjoy Glavinus's. Now how much I enjoy a subspecies doesn't really affect their overall ranking if the subspecies changes drastically, but if it's a case like Acidic where the fight doesn't change a whole lot, then I do weigh in my opinion of how much I enjoy that subspecies. So because I don't really love Acidic's fight, and I don't think the fight changes enough compared to the original, it is not a 10 out of 10 subspecies. Up until now, all of the rankings I've done so far have been pretty easy considering that this is the third episode of the series. It was actually pretty hard for me to determine what ranking I wanted to give Acidic Glavinus since I like Fulgur more than Acidic, but I think Acidic is a really unique subspecies. Now if this was based off of purely the rankings, its spot would be pretty obvious. However, since there's more that goes into these rankings than that, it's hard for me to decide whether my personal enjoyment of a subspecies should make it lower on my list, or because it's a fundamentally good subspecies, it should be higher on my list. So that is why Acidic will be my third favorite subspecies I've reviewed so far, and my third favorite subspecies in Iceborne. I will admit that Acidic is a better subspecies than Fulgur, in the sense that it does a lot more new things with its fight than Fulgur does. But in my opinion, I just enjoy Fulger's fight more. However, I feel like there are enough new things with Fulger's fight for me to justify putting Fulger above Acidic. So, what are your opinions about the Acidic Glavinus? Do you think it deserves a higher or lower ranking? Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video or not. Also, make sure to click the like button if you liked this episode and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more content from this channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Ryan Kelly, and I'll see you in the next episode of Subspecies 101.